Speaker, you spent the last three weeks uh, in 50 cities, 12 states, campaigning with 25 different House members. Mm -hmm. uh, you raised 200 million plus hard dollars over the past three years for this effort. If the House flips tomorrow, why will that have happened? History is not our friend. And what I mean when I say that, Brett, is the historic average for a midterm election for a president's party and in the president's first midterm is 32 seats. We have a 23 seat majority. Uh, a couple of our seats are already gone because of recent redistricting that was done in, say, Pennsylvania. So we already are standing against a historical trend that cuts against us. But the reason I, I feel like this is going to be really, really close and I feel cautiously optimistic is because of our record. We have done so much. We passed over a thousand bills in the House in just the last two years, making a huge difference, tackling opioids, human trafficking, rebuilding the military, overhauling the VA, deregulating the economy, creating jobs and jobs and wages and overhauling the tax system, among many other things. So it's been an enormous record of accomplishment. Most objective Americans would see that, that the country is so much better off than it was just two years ago. And they don't want to see the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, take power to bring chaos and gridlock to Washington. They'll try to impeach the president. They want to abolish ICE. And, and, and that's the agency that guards our border, that stops drugs from coming into our country. And they want socialized medicine, which, which would be a disaster for our country, plus a $32 trillion tax increase to pay for it. So I think the contrast is clear. That's why I think we got a really good chance, because history, although it's not our friend, we have a good record that can help combat that.